Yeah, do, do you know what? There's a couple of teachers involved. Even though I, I mentioned Mrs. Phillips in my primary school, there's only one went to high school. Uh, I had two teachers. I had my PE teacher, Mr. Laurie, Alex Laurie. He was the one who really helped and pushed me. But I had my art teacher as well, Mrs. Davis. Now the story, I'm going to tell you if we've got a couple of minutes, yeah. Mrs. Davis is my art teacher. Always kept saying to me, do you know what? I think you're a special talent. You can make it to the Olympics one day. I'd be like, yeah, yeah, miss. Just do athletics for fun. I'm, football's more my focus. Every year she kept saying, she goes, do you know what? My husband used to be an Olympic champion. I was like, whatever, miss. I'm thinking, if your husband is an Olympic champion, he will, you wouldn't be teaching in this school, you? That's why I always say, she goes, oh, I'll show you. So the one day she brought his gold medal in. And her husband was actually Lynn Davis, Linda Leap. So Mrs. Davis was my art teacher and she was a massive support. So I used to get support through the Ron Pickering funding and stuff like that. But she also kept me on a straight and narrow in school as well. So now my teachers that helped me a lot going through school. It's a bit surreal, my, my career. The fact is I actually became an athlete myself and I won medals at Worlds and managed to get to number one in the world at one stage. But to win medals at Worlds, Europeans, Commonwealth, make two Olympic finals, and then to go on and do well as a coach in my first couple of years is it's massive. Someone from, from Newport, from Hartridge, that's gone out there. And all I want to do is just say to the kids that you can do anything. I always say that every kid has a talent. They might not know what it is yet, but they've all got a talent. And all I got, my talent was running fast, and all I did was work hard at it, and it's taken me to where I am. So if you've got a talent, work hard at it, and the sky's the limit. I always say this, anything's possible in life, and the world is such a big place. Like I said, I've never been on holiday before the age of 70. And since the age of 70, I go on playing 23 times a year, every year of NFL, and I see so much in the world, and there's so much out there for all of you to achieve and to enjoy. So if one thing I want to leave you guys with the message is, work hard, because you will get your reward in life. Thank you. We are very proud of our part in establishing our school, and tonight is a demonstration of the success of our pupils. None of our successes would have been possible without the hard work of all our teachers and support staff. We are extremely grateful for their contribution towards our success as we celebrate the wonderful achievements of our pupils. We've had a very positive year and pupils and staff have all worked together to raise standards and to build a warm and friendly community. In fact, we've just received a very positive report from the EAS curriculum review that took place last week. This report recognises the key improvements we've made this year and there are some key points on the back of your programme and a full uh, copy of the report is on the school website for those parents or pupils who would like to have a further look. I'm proud to represent the school as Chair of Governors along with all the governing body. Proud that every member of our school community are working extremely hard to achieve the best results for students at this school.